Hello. Oh, it's great to be here. It's great to be doing comedy in this room. I actually come here every Tuesday with my mum. We go up the back and we do yoga and meditation. Uh, they do yoga and meditation in this room, they do. do. Does anyone here do yoga and meditation? Apparently it's really good for you. I hate it, all right? I spend all my time doing my yoga and meditation, sitting down with my shoes off, just looking at my teacher going, um, I really wish she'd just fuck off. <laughs> Use my whole body, you see. Uh, look, I'm a parent, like most of the comedians that have been on are parents. I won't talk about my kids, but I will tell you one thing that I've realised about parenting since becoming a parent, and that is that my level of multitasking has gone to realms that not even I can comprehend. Like the other day, I was sitting on the toilet, and it wasn't until I went to get the toilet paper that I realised I had a pen in one hand, and in the other, I was eating a biscuit. <laughs> I don't know why I had a pen, but I figure you're eating a biscuit on the toilet, it's probably not your main concern, you know? <laughs> And, you know, before I had kids, I spent all this time, you know, lying in bed going, oh, I want to save the world. What can I do to make the world a better place? And now I lay awake all night in bed going, why the fuck won't my kids watch that movie Frozen? You know? <laughs> They're the only kids in Australia that actively hate that film. But look, I've just, I've just moved back to Canberra from Melbourne. I was in Melbourne for a while. And people always say to me, why did you move back to Canberra? You know? But big cities can be really hard places to live. Now, I lived in the northern suburbs of Melbourne in a place called Coburg and I actually remember um, when we first moved there, I remember putting a box of chocolates on each of my neighbours' doorsteps, you know, just to say hello, you know. Uh, anyway, one neighbour never gave us anything back and the other neighbour left a package on my doorstep and when I opened it, it was three true crime novels and an oven mitt. Uh, I don't know what was weirder, the complete randomness of that present or the fact that I really needed an oven mitt and I've pretty much used it every day since, so <laughs> it's a bit weird. Uh, but my, um, my parents are in Canberra, they're Italian. Uh, my dad was a gardener at Government House for a number of years. He saw four Governor Generals come and go. So thanks to Dad, I got to meet quite a few celebrities when I was a kid. And uh, one of the uh, most important celebrities for my Italian parents for me to meet was uh, the Pope. Uh, not the Pope we've got now, or the Pope before that. But the Pope before that, I don't know if you remember um, Pope John Paul II, or for you young kids out there, PJP2, you know. <laughs> Oh, PJP too. I, it's hard to explain him to people. Some people can't remember him and I find myself going, you know, you know the one. He was the weekend at Bernie's one, you know. For ages, those cardinals were wheeling him out and everyone was like, somebody's got to tell them he's dead. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, anyway, I remember with, I was with all the other, um, all the staff's families up there on the steps of Government House there. It was very fancy. Meeting the Pope, very exciting. The Pope pulls up in his car you know, and he, um, and he gets out and he walks up the stairs in his long dress, you know, to greet us all. And he gets to the top step. And when he gets to the top step, he trips on his dress and he falls forward like that. And everyone just goes, oh! and someone goes, Jesus Christ, like this. Uh, anyway, before, <laughs> before he could hit the decks, these cardinals have swooped in and picked him up. And he's just looked at us and we've just looked at him and he's just gone... Bless you. And I thought, wow, only the Pope could make an accident into an accidental blessing, you know? I don't know about you, but I reckon that's pretty quick witted for a dead man. So, uh, anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much. <laughs>